Day four of our crazy Oregon adventure, guys. Welcome back to the vlog. We're out here on the Alvord Playa. You can see it behind me, this dry lake bed. And uh, we just spent last night here. Great, awesome camping spot. And if you come down here and it's a clear night, oh, the stars are amazing. You can walk out into pitch black on the playa. You can have light, yeah, you can have lightsaber battles and put a clip right here. But uh, we're here on day four of our Oregon adventure. We're having a bit of a late start. Chef John is whipping us up some awesome looking breakfast burritos, which I am starving, looking forward to. Gonna grab another coffee. Uh, we're gonna go bomb around on the playa in a little bit. We're gonna get the drones out, have some fun. And then we're gonna continue our adventure east today towards Idaho and into some canyons, valleys. Go check out some of the previous days. I've been uploading a video for every day that we're out here. But we've got the whole crew here, obviously Chef John, behind us in the Toyota and cooking up a storm. Uh, Ryan from Modular Rocks is here. Sean from the Story Till Now is out on the playa in his new Sarge Green Gladiator. And you can see Khan off in the distance. We've got Paul here from Epic Adventure Outfitters leading us around and uh, navigating this crazy adventure. So let's go check in with Chef John, see how the breakfast burritos are coming, and then we'll uh, see what Paul's got in store for us today. I always got to wonder a little bit when your chef is wearing a uh, safety second shirt, but you know. Food, food safe <laughs> is above everything else. <laughs> so food safe and then safety second, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Exactly. Bacon, but, uh, bacon first. We've both got on our new safety second hazard warning shirts. If there's some still available, go check them out at dirtyanddangerous.com. If not, put your email address in for the wait list and you'll get a notification when we restock the site. But we've got these awesome safety second t-shirts up. We've got the key tags, we've got the Velcro patches, and there's the stickers. Woo, what's that going on there, John? Well, we got some cheese. Mexican cheese. You got salsa? You know what, I forgot the salsa. Oh before. no! But it's got, like, I mean, it's got peppers and onions and everything in here. Oh, so, so it's basically like It's basically salsa, like yeah. salsa already. Breakfast, guys. Breakfast burritos, late start to the day. Thank you, sir. Look at this. Mm. Tastes like bacon. Heading out of camp and on to the playa. Whew, and it's hot out. Almost drag race time. 30 degrees. And uh, back to that side. there is no shade anywhere out here. In our infinite wisdom, we've uh, decided to have a drag race good about the Toyota. I don't know. across the playa. <laughs> So we have John's Toyota 4Runner. We've got Ryan's uh, Power Wagon. Paul with the Eco Diesel Gladiator. Sean with a Gladiator and a 3.6 liter gas engine. And we've got my Eco Diesel Wrangler towing the off grid trailer. All right, three, two, one, go. Woo! Look at the Eco Diesel go, beast and load! don't know what I'm talking about go check out my patreon page there's a link in the description below we're talking about the new Jeep build and we've got a few surprises I got all you guys off the line with my boosted launch <laughs> all right how was that the world's dumbest drag race? The world's dumbest drag race. And I came in third, so I don't know. <laughs> you gotta boost it, launch it. Oh, I know. It makes a big difference. But that Hemi, like, it oh, just, yeah, it just, it I just flies. I couldn't see too far across all the lanes. Yeah. I need a drone, like, way out in the distance, but. That's fun, yeah. though. Yeah, super fun. <laughs> Team Toyota. Second place, baby. <laughs> if you can't look good doing it, at least you can... Right? I did it on a four-wheel launch, I'm saying. You did a four-wheel launch? Just, yeah. I did a boosted launch. No traction issues. I, but... turned, I turned traction control off, four-wheel drive, a couple thousand RPM. It's great. <laughs> oh, man. That was fun. All right. We're going to get off the playa here before I completely melt. 
We're gonna make our way east into, where are we going again? What's the name of the canyon? Sorry? What's the name of the canyon we're going to? Uh, Waihe. 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 That sounds like Hawaii. It is. There's a story to that, I'll tell it's you. It's as later. warm as Hawaii. Oh, Hawaii. There's a story? It's named after that. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Waihe uh, Canyons. And then east, we're heading east towards the Idaho border today. And tomorrow, we've got one more day after... One more day after today. A lot of fun. A lot of fun vlogging yeah, every day with you guys. Woo. Do some top speed testing. Yeah. Hit, uh, 85. 85 miles an hour. Yeah. All right. Not bad. What's the top? Aren't they I don't know. I can go faster 100? than that, but it gets starts to get a little sketchy. A little dicey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not uh, not the grippiest surface. Yeah. No. <laughs> Sweet. I was racing John. Yeah. I start passing him around 85 miles an hour. I'm like, see you later. He's like, oh, I took my foot off the gas. <laughs> yeah, right. It's game of, yeah, that's what they all say. That's what I was when they're losing. Yeah. When the other guy's pulling on you. That's what they. Like, oh, that's what I they thought, all say. I thought it was over. No, I said race to the exit, John. It's a race to the exit. <laughs> no excuses. Uh, John, Sean's calling you out. He said you let you lifted. I, well, Cardinal I, sin, you lifted you in a race. I, I thought we were done. I lifted at like 140, so I had him by way far. So oh, I don't yeah. think. Is a loser that always has the excuses, like yeah. there's a misfire. Oh, I lifted. Or, I lifted. Yeah. I, I, I had we're video done. evidence. I had to stick my hand so far out the window with the GoPro to get him in frame. <laughs> the That's sound of a done. loser. That's how far ahead I was. It doesn't sound like something someone wearing a safety second T-shirt would say. N not at all. <laughs> <laughs> All right, off to sort of Hawaii. Hawaii. I'm not gonna be able. To, I'm not gonna be able to say this right. You guys are gonna sure get on me in the comments, but we're going to Hawaii. Something with a lot of warning signs right here. We should probably check out. Okay. <laughs> sounds, sounds like our cup of tea. Sounds like our, sounds like it's exactly what we like. Mickey's Hot Springs, area of critical environmental concern. Oh, beware, very hot water. Ground surface is thin and can break under your weight. Well, there's only one thing to do here. Enter. Look at this yeah, look thing. Yeah. We could fall through this at any time. I have That's chicken to cook. Yeah. You want to just boil it? You could boil it in that, but... Don't put your hand in That's not that hot. I mean, it's warm. I think it's acidic. That's the problem. Look at the bubbles coming up. That was the last person that stopped by. Follow in Paul's footsteps so that if he falls through, then I can stop. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, yeah, don't, yeah, don't get too close to that. That is, uh, that's not quite a uh, boiling pot of water hot, but. Woo, oh, there, there ouch. There well, hopefully these things don't erupt. Okay, the other one is much hotter. I don't know if we should hang out with this or too close to this thing. If it starts spewing uh, boiling water. It's a bit of a day ender. It's <laughs> a bit of a day ender. Your day's kind of over at that this, point. This other one there, Paul, is like the hottest one. Which one? That, that one? one? Yeah, just quick, quick, quick tap. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah, see? Okay, I'm sure some of you guys have seen hot springs and water boiling out of the earth before, but I have not. So this is super cool and super exciting. And if you've never seen this, well, come and try and find... What is this? Dev Devil's... Bathtub? Mickey's Hot Springs. Mickey's Hot Springs. Mick oh, Mickey's Hot Springs. Not to be confused with Mickey's Hot Tub in Moab. We're gonna scoot across it. Paul has a uh, location marked on the other side where we can exit. If you are heading onto the flights, it's a good idea to 
lay down a track in whatever mapping software you use. I use Gaia GPS, and that way you don't lose the entrance and exit that you came onto it from, uh, because it can be quite hard to see where the edge is you may have come from, but also you don't want to be driving around on here and around the whole edge of this trying to find it. But as well, we're crossing it and we're gonna go out the other side. So Paul has a exit marked on the other side that we're driving towards. And uh, if we didn't, we'd be all the way out here on the playa and not sure where to get out. This is the exit here. That's a little setup for lunch here, I don't Really battling with the sun out here. It's so hot. It's 32, 33 degrees. We're just no shelter, so. What's that in freedom units? <laughs> Ryan's got the awning out. The goal zero awning. No, not goal zero. The, no, the 23 zero awning. The zipper on this thing is like seized right up with all the dust, so. And mud and everything else. So, so Ryan's got the, the roof nest out here. His zipper seems to be working and uh, we'll create a little shade for us to hang out, make lunch. Tried to yeah. park the trailer the appropriate way to get shade. We're doing some Greek wraps. Greek wraps. With the chicken I forgot to cook this morning for this. <laughs> awesome, well done. Came all the way to the edge of the playa. Paul has the exit marked, which is perfect. So we're not stuck driving around. I mean, it's kind of deceiving from on the camera, I'm sure, but you know, it's quite a ways to the other side. And if you had to go around the circumference of this playa, you could burn through a lot of fuel. And uh, we are way out in the middle of nowhere now. We're below half a tank of fuel. So we're gonna have to uh, put some in our vehicles tonight. But I brought 40 extra liters of fuel, which I'm hoping will be enough for this trip. Uh, but towing the off-grid trailer, we're burning a little bit more. Our fuel economy is being around 16 liters per hundred kilometers or so, which is probably like, I don't know, 15 miles a gallon. I'll put it up right here. And uh, we're going through fuel. I'm only a little bit lower than what Paul is with his Eco Diesel. So we're not burning too, too much more on the trails or on the highway, but we're getting 14 liters per hundred K on the highway, which is really good for towing a trailer. All right, ah, uh, lunch. Thank you, John. Love the Greek wraps. All the um, like the cucumbers and the tomatoes give it that fresh veggie pop. Mm. What an awesome lunch! Thank you, Chef John. Paul, what is the game plan? The game plan is to go into the center of the storm over here. Are we gonna trailer test We're or test the trailer in a tornado? That's the plan. So we'll see if we can make that. Sorry, happen. off grid. So we got a, how far do we got? You figure today left in our voyage. So however far we get, really. Till we get stuck or die. John, John has the right idea. He knows what's up. We are making a huge climb. We're almost at 2,000 meters in the Oahe, I think I said it right that time, valley. And we're just coming right up to the top of it. Beautiful, beautiful bluffs and valleys. And I don't know if these are mountains, if you classify them as mountains or hills yet, but really cool spot and this is just right off the highway we ended up after a rock in here they call the brown bit after lunch after lunch on the playa we continued east and uh we hit a highway for about 20 minutes and then continued east some more and we're on this awesome trail road whatever you want to call it awesome dirt road that just weaves through these hills and mountain ranges here it's Really cool, everything's green and it's beautiful. Oh, not an off road trip unless Sean's got to clean a filter. <laughs> Trying to get the uh, fuel economy up on the 3.6 liter. It's been pretty dusty. It doesn't have anything to do with Baja driving on these trails. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's just about uh, what time is it here? 6 30. Been just kind of ripping along for the last couple hours through this valley. We're just way, way, way out in the middle of nowhere. Headed to Hawaii. <laughs> Hawaii. 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 Not to be confused with Hawaii. Just over that way. 
All right, we're pretty close. So we gotta head down this road. We just came down this one here. We gotta fork, make a quick right turn here. Uh, the uh, trailer is still behind us. We've been bombing through the, uh, I don't know if these are desert roads, farm roads or whatever, but look at off grid trailer has made it this far. Been just uh, overlanding as normal through these desert farm roads. But the eco diesel definitely notices it behind there. My fuel economy is not as good as Paul's on these roads. Uh, it was not bad on the highway, but I'm definitely seeing some heat issues in the 30 degree weather with the eco diesel and uh, with the extra weight behind it. And uh, you go check out the video from the drive down here. I talk about the uh, D rating check engine light and throttle, uh, electronic throttle control check engine light that we got. So it's been all right though. It's a nice having like all the kitchen and having a shower because we're so dusty. There's a shower on the outside of it and having all the power and the fridge and the extra space. But it comes at a bit of a trade off with the kind of wheeling and driving we do through some of these trails. Did you take your filter out? Look at the size of that filter. Look at the color of that That's filter. That's like four filters. No wonder why you're burning through so much fuel. It's because it has draws so much air. Yeah, yeah right? It's just massive filtration. The CFMs are it's, huge. It's heavy technology right there. Uh, Bigger is better. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, stop. Stop. You broke it. This thing's broken. <laughs> All right, we're done uh, cleaning air filters. The air filter cleaning party is over, and we're gonna head down this road. Just following this very, very unmaintained road through the BLM land here. It is bumpy and crazy and it's grass four feet high in the middle of it and we're just following this fence line to our right but there's enough of a track here that we can follow it we've got it on our map that uh, it's passable and it should put us out right at the wahoo wahi Oahe canyon which is just up here and that is where we're going to camp tonight on the canyon ridge or wall or at the top of the canyon something like that should be an awesome view, so I hear. And uh, we should be there in a few minutes. We're getting really close. Done a good job. I have no fuel left, but we're here. Yeah, I'm out of fuel too. So <laughs> oh I, gotta, boy. I gotta dump my cans tonight because I am. I'm below a quarter tank. But, uh, yeah, this one's a first for me, the Owyhee Canyon. I've never been here. It's been on my bucket list for years. So I'm really, uh, really happy to finally be here. And this spot is just crazy awesome. Yeah. It's gonna look amazing in the morning with the sun. Right now it's 8 p.m. So the sun's kind of been setting. Yeah, I can't wait to get some light in the canyon. Yeah, I think I think that'll be uh, pr be pretty awesome. Yeah. All right, guys, we made it to the canyon. This is where we're going to be camping for the night. The sun is just starting to go down. This place is beautiful. I think today might be one of my favorite trails that we've ever done. Uh, just completely different scenery than we're used to. Oregon, you're cool. <laughs> Oregon's not a person. <laughs> Oregon's not a person. We have two options. Mac and cheese. Options. This will be a this will be a choose your own adventure night. Okay. So sure. we'll do it, we'll do it by vote. Okay. We have a Thai peanut chicken stir fry. I'm in. Or a 
or a bacon cheddar potato corn chowder. Watch out for the rock! It's, it, it's everywhere! <laughs> Man, look at this place. I wanna go check that river out. <laughs> look at this river down there. All the way in there. So, you know, I have uh, many options with my uh, travel setup of where I can sleep. And I think I'm gonna take the uh, penthouse tonight rather than the uh, ground floor suite. So we're, we're gonna pop up the uh, roof nest condor overland, get on top of the Jeep and wake up to this amazing view. We're uh, setting up this one-handed. There we go. Yeah, hang on. I can't jump down one-handed though. Look at that guys. You could set up the Roof Nest Condor Overland one-handed while filming the vlog. Uh, we should probably make that a little flatter. John, look at this walk. I missed you serving up. I was messing with the tent. Looks good though. The crew was hungry. We had to get going. <laughs> Your signature stir fry. Your signature stir fry, man. Oh, look at this, guys. Is it good? Uh huh. No, you, you, amazing. you should probably just give me yours. Okay, here you go. Uh, so this is day four or five on our Oregon adventure. Don't miss tomorrow. We're gonna finish up. We're gonna go down into that crazy canyon i showed you guys on the way in there's a river at the bottom so don't miss what we're going to see tomorrow hit that subscribe button leave a like if you enjoyed this video i'll see you guys in the next one